Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning ladies and gentlemen With me, Aprilian Indra Pangestu In our great show, Mata Indra Today, we will discuss about Introducing to political philosophy And I have many special guests Let's welcome Gita, our first guest Let me start today by asking the question, what is political philosophy? In one sense, you could say political philosophy is simply a branch uh, or what we call a subfield uh, of political science. It exists alongside uh, of other uh, areas of political inquiry uh, like American government, uh, comparative politics, and international relations. Yet, in another uh, sense, Uh, political philosophy is something uh, much different than simply uh, a subfield. Its purpose is to lay uh, bare, as it were, the fundamental problems, the disrespect it seems to me less less uh, like just a branch of political science than the foundation of the entire discipline. That is the opinion of Kita. Now, with the next guest, please welcome Nisa. Nisa, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Nisa, what's your opinion about political philosophy? Uh, I think the study of political, of political philosophy yeah. often begins at this course will do a little with, this, with the study of the great books or some of the great books of our world. Political philosophy is the oldest of the social sciences, and it can boost a world of heavy hitters from Plato and Aristotle to Machiavelli, Hobbes, Hegel, Tocqueville, Nietzsche, and so on. You might say that the best way to learn what political philosophy is simply to study and read the works of those who have shaped the field. Yes, but. To do that is, I recognize, not without the dangers, often several dangers of its own. We find ourselves easily imitated by a list of famous names and end up not thinking for ourselves. Furthermore, doesn't, doesn't the study of old books often, often very old book, raise overlooking the issues facing us today? What can our soul or hobbies tell us? about the world of global, globalization, of terrorists, yeah, okay. of ethnic conflict, and the like. Doesn't political science make any progress? Hmm. After all, economics no longer read Adam Smith. I hesitate to. Hmm. I don't hesitate to say that you will never read Adam Smith in an economic course here at Yale. And it's very unlikely that you will read from in your psychology classes. So, why then does political science apparently, uni- apparently uniquely among the social sciences continue to study Aristotle, Luke, and other old books? From Gita and Nisha opinion, we can conclude these are all the questions and I raise them know myself because They are questions I want to be to be thinking about as you do your reading and work through this course. One reason I want to suggest that we continue to read this book is not because political science makes no progress, or that we are somehow uniquely fixated and unassisted past because This work profit us with the most basic question that continue to grip our fire. Now, with us, Vina, with a new question. Listen the opinion with Vina. What is a regime? Uh, the regime is uh, def- 
find in the first infancy by you no know, people are uh, governed and how public office are distribusi by election, by birth, by lot, by outstanding personal quality and achievement and what constitutes a people's rank and responsibility. The regime again refers above all to a form of government. The political world does itself as simple and infinity variety of different sets. It is structure and order into a few basic regime types. Okay, thank you. Okay. We have a record for the last question from the last yes. Ara. How are you, Ara? I'm fine. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Ara, what is regime? Regime is always something particular. It stands in a relation of opposition to others' regime types. Okay. And as a consequence, the possibility of conflict, of tension, and war is built into the very structure of politics. Regimes are necessary partition, that is to say, they instill curtain, loyalties, and passion in the same way that one may feel partisip to the New York Yankees, or the Boston Red Sox, or the yell over our rival colleagues and institution. These passionate attackments are not merely something that take place, you may say, with between different regimes, but even with them, as different parties and groups with loyalties and attachment content for power, for honor, and for interest. The conclusion of our discuss. All of this, in a way, is another way of saying, or at least implying, okay, that political philosophy. Okay? That political philosophy is an immense practical discipline, a practical field. It's okay, purpose is not simply contemplation. Its purpose is not reflection alone, it is a face giving. But the, but the, the great thinkers were very far from being just, so to speak, distressed intellectual. Once again, Thanks for Ara, Nisa, Gita, and Fina. Goodbye, and see you next time. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Audio jungle.